Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to change timing belt, timing kit on 1.9 DCI. That includes Vauxhall, Renault, Nissan, and any engine basically which is 1.9 DCI being fitted in Vauxhall, Renaults, Nissans, and some of the Volvos as well. So when you get to, first you have to remove the engine mount, three brackets here, top support here, then there's another engine mount on the bottom, you remove the other one as well, you remove it, then you jack up the car with something, and then you go over this side, you jack it up, and there's another engine bracket there, which you can't really see it, but let's try. It's just literally there. It connects the um, subframe to the engine in there to there. That's the bolt. You remove the side one bolt, lose that one up, slide it on side and leave it alone. Then you move here. You remove the plastic. There's a bottom pulley that has to be removed. The big bolt. It's 17 mil socket. You remove that. That's a vibration pulley. You move that up under that you got the timing there will be a little mark there which i will show you later on as well here on the top you can see i will just zoom it in you have a little notch here on timing and there is a little notch here on there so basically you line them both up obviously i done it before so i still mark it on it but that's a genuine dot it's here apparently meant to be that one and that one but I just go for whatever I set it up so that has to be here because if you look there it's like a normal mark on it there's no other marks so you mark for that one on any wheel you will see this and then you line up that one with the mark same Apparently you don't have to mark the pump, but I always do the same way. So mark it there. That's a little mark there. Both together. And then you loose up the belt, which is manual tensioner. You remove that one up. And then you remove the water pump, which is just down there. And then you take the water pump first. Remove the tensioner, or water pump, whichever comes first. So this way we're going forward, so we'll be removing the tensioner, loose the belt up. If you mark everything up correctly, lock the engine. There's a notch down there, 10 mil socket, and you put a uh, locking tool in it. I just used to be honest, I just use a screwdriver, a thick bolt to lock the, the crankshaft. And that's it. The easy, simple way. And then you put a new belt on and then you work your way up in reverse so but always make sure that these lines are matching if they're not gonna match then it's a game over so I will put you posted when I put new timing on and I will show you the rest